The 1984 movie The Terminator follows a soldier named Kyle Reese, who traveled back in time from the year 2029 to protect Sarah Connor, the future mother of John Connor, who would become the leader of the human resistance against the machines. When Kyle Reese first rescues Sarah from the T-800 Model 101 Terminator, sent back in time to kill her and prevent John's birth, Reese introduces himself as such. I'm here to help you. I'm Reese. Sergeant Techcock, BN-38416, assigned to protect you. You've been targeted for termination. In James Cameron's original two Terminator films, we only ever hear the name Techcom once in the Terminator when Reese identifies himself. Now, the term Techcom was not used in James Cameron's original script treatment. However, it appeared in the final script. For a while, it seemed to be a small detail that had been overlooked or forgotten. In the Terminator expanded material such as video games, novels, and comic books, Techcom is often used as the name for the entire human resistance against Skynet and the machines. That is, until it came up again in Terminator Salvation, which, while it had nothing to do with James Cameron, it did at least try to expand the lore of the Terminator. In the Terminator Salvation film and novel, John Connor's Techcom unit was tasked with intercepting and interpreting Skynet's signals from the hunter killers to the Terminators in hopes to finding a weakness and finding backdoors into restricted files, as well as fighting the machines directly. This unit intercepted plans and diagrams depicting the new model Terminator, the T-800, following a mostly successful strike on an underground Skynet bunker in 2018. We learn what Techcom is supposed to be, a unit operating under the command of John Connor. Anyone who ever wondered what Techcom was before this assumed it was the name of the whole resistance. Instead, it was one of many factions across the globe, another being Resistance Command, but Techcom was personally supervised by John Connor himself. However, with so little added to the lore in regards to this, one has to wonder how John came to command his own unit known as Techcom. In the original Terminator timeline, before the movies where things happened naturally with no time travel interference, it might have just been some random group of people John trusted more than others. For the Terminator films, as well as the TV shows, comics, and video games tied to them, there's nothing to explain the origin of Techcom. With that said, I'd like to present my own theory behind Techcom in this particular lore video. After the events of the Terminator in 1984, Sarah raised John as a soldier and thus taught him how to survive and potentially spot out Terminators. While Sarah was technophobic due to her experiences with the first Terminator, John was actually techno-savvy as he hacked into ATMs and computers. As the internet came about in the 90s around the time of Judgment Day, allowing people to reach out across the globe via cyberspace, John would be keen to use it. Whether the events of T2 happened or not, John would want to reach out to other people, but also would be wary as his mother suggested. Taking the events of T2 into account, John would likely wish to warn people about the future war against the machines prior to Judgment Day. The only thing is, how does he warn people without looking like a nut job like his mother did when she was sent to Pescadero State Hospital for the criminally insane? The answer is to subtly warn people via the dark web of a shady group that have the ability to pose as anyone, even those close to you, be they friends or family. The open-minded people will see this, and when combined with some proof, such as photos of the Terminator from 1984 and 1995 that show no signs of aging, they consider his words truth. He wouldn't outright say they're machines from the future coming back in time to destroy humanity. He would instead simplify them as dangerous people who should be avoided at all times unless you have military weaponry to combat them. Of course, not everyone who follows these warnings will be a potential future resistance fighter. Some might either be undercover cops or terminators. John may get at least a few hundred followers across the globe with this site feeding subtle info about the Terminators, but these people will become the foundation of the Resistance. This foundation will become known as Techcom, originally a dark website meant to warn people about the future, turned into a movement tasked with combating Skynet. 
This can be factored in to explain how people come to trust John to the point of fighting closely by his side and supporting his decisions in the future war, even if it meant going up against Resistance Command, who liked to give orders going against Connors. These people are more inclined to follow Connor than the Command, who have a knack for either abandoning their soldiers or outright sacrificing innocent lives just for one win against Skynet. They follow Connor because he has just as much faith in them as they do in him. Techcom's faith in John Connor gives them hope for the future. Hope that no matter what fate has in store for them, the resistance will endure. Remember, there's no fate but what we make. And you can bet on that.